Turner primarily, but also of Helen Frankenthaler. The brief was to write something inspired by both of them, and I decided to just focus on Turner, but as, my, as I researched, I realised that there were more similarities than I first realised. So it's really inspired by both of them. I've sort of spent like, days trying to write this, and all I've got is a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got till Sunday to find another 19. So I think we should sing it 20 times for <laughs> work was very detailed and naturalistic and impressionistic and it was just perfect and as he moved through his life he became more expressive and abstract um, and then she, and then Fr Helen Frankenthal is right at the other end of the spectrum she's extremely abstract she says that her paintings are full of climates but emotional climates and I think that's what Turner started to aspire to more in later life the words are by a poet called Mark Akenside who Turner loved and used as a source of inspiration for lots of his painting. And he often plagiarised, Turner did. He sort of nicked bits of other people's poetry and said they were his own, which was a bit dodgy. He, he felt that painting re represented a moment. It was really hard to display, display like a linear storyline, whereas poetry could give context. Poet just uses your imagination to help you, you visualise those scenes, whereas he, he did that wonderfully with paint. So the two really went hand in hand, and I found without the poetry, the piece that I've written wouldn't have happened. I needed somewhere, and as it, it inspired him so much, it seemed like the perfect choice. In the same manner that his poetry enhanced his art, that the music will enhance his art as well. This piece isn't applied to specific artworks, but it's applied to the creative process of these two artists on the whole. They had a very similar creative process, actually, the way they started. She painted freely with no rules, no preconceptions. She just did what the hell she wanted. That's what I do when I compose. The choir that I'm working with, the Big Sing, they were formed when the Turner opened, which was in 2011. And this project marks the Big Sing coming back to the Turner. They, they were for a few years elsewhere and, and I've, we've sort of worked on building a relationship and bringing the choir back here. In December last year, funding was granted and the project is all happening. And it's really, it's really about combining art and music. So at the moment we're in, I'm in the composition stage. We haven't got very long to launch a project, to get a website up, to oh, do all sorts of things. Um, we've got till April the 16th, which is a Wednesday at Turner Contemporary at 1, 2 and 3 p.m. Look at that, look at that. It's amazing. Look at that. It's amazing. Yeah, barometer, that, that could almost be a turner. Yeah, they're beautiful. <laughs> 